To make this project, we're going to use some lace trim. This trim is about one inch wide and it's ivory color, very pretty. And we've got some beads and pearls. The pearls are four millimeters and ivory color. The beads are three millimeters and they're gold. Then we also have some flat back Swarovski rhinestone gems. And we have seven of these and the color is light sapphire. Additionally, we have two eye hooks for the frame and we're gonna put it all together with E6000 glue. And for tools, we've got scissors, tweezers, wire cutters, and a toothpick. Then we also have some 26 gauge wire. And finally, we have our frame. Our frame is a wooden frame. It's seven and a quarter inches by nine and a quarter inches. It has a nice wide edge to it and it holds a four by six inch photo. To make the frame, the first thing we want to do is add a piece of lace to the bottom of the frame. And we picked out this lace because it's a little bit smaller than the width of the frame here. And I'm just going to measure how much of it to cut and cut right about here. You'll want to look at how your lace is put together to see how to cut it so that you have whole sections if possible. Like I'm keeping these little whole sections of arches together. I'm not going to cut right through one. And it fit nicely that way. So there's our lace. If your lace feels like it's going to fray, you could put a little fray check on the end. But we're going to glue this down. It's going to look just fine. To glue this down, I'm going to flip it over. It does have a front and a back, and so you'll want to make sure you're using the front on the front and putting the glue on the back. And we're going to use our E6000 to glue this down. And I'm going to just apply the glue directly to the back of the lace here. I'm looking at the thickest parts of the lace so that the glue has a place to go and isn't just going up, seeping up through the holes. I'm just going to dab some glue on there. And some of it will come up through the holes in the lace, but that's why you don't want to use too much glue. And we can always add a little bit more glue once we put it down on the frame if we have parts that feel like they're going to catch or unstick. See how I'm kind of putting that on the flower and on the border. We chose this E6000 because it works well with wood and fabric and the beads. So we need to be able to glue many different materials with one glue. Put a little bit more right here. So now we have the glue on there. I'm going to line it up so it's going to fit right in the center of the bottom. And now I can flip it over and press it into place here. That is gorgeous. And I'm just going to press it down, make sure it's getting some good adhesion. And then I can see we've got some little tips here on our arches that are going to need some extra glue. So to apply that extra glue, I have a little piece of paper. Whoops, my toothpick. I have a little piece of paper. I'm going to squeeze out some of the E6000, and I'm going to twirl it onto the toothpick. And I keep twirling to get rid of that little glue string. Then I can take that little dollop of glue and add it underneath that little tip there. And I can use the back end of the toothpick to press that down so I don't get glue on my fingers. So the toothpick is a great tool here. A little bit of extra glue I can put on that one. So I'm just going to make sure all those little tips are glued down. And once this dries, it should be on there nice and secure. Just want to press those down. So the next thing we want to do, doesn't that look nice? is we want to add a little bling to this, just to jazz it up a little bit so it's not just lace. So we thought that it would look nice to add some gold beads to the lace, and we looked at the design of our lace, and we thought that it would look nice to put a bead in the center of each flower there. So to do that, I'm going to pick up the beads. This is a little bead handling trick, we call it. I'm going to pick up the bead with the tweezers. It makes it easier for me to get in there with the toothpick to apply the glue. I'm going to swirl a little bit of glue onto my toothpick. You might think you want to put the glue on the hole, but if you put the glue on the hole when you flip it over and set it down, the other hole is going to show at the top. So instead, we're going to put the glue on the side of the bead, like that. 
And then I can take the bead and set it down right in the center of that flower and push it down into place. And I'm going to do that again. And I'm using a little extra glue for this because there's some room for the glue to move into that lace and I want it to have a good grip in that lace. I don't want the beads to fall off. Once it dries, you'll want to check and make sure your beads are on there nice and see if they need a little extra glue. I'm going to do another one here. Put the glue on there. Whoops. It's spinning in my tweezer grip. There we go. And then apply it just to the center. You'll just want to look at your lace and see what your lace is telling you about where to put the beads. Just see where they would look nice. And that's one of the fun things about using something like lace is the lace itself, the pattern of the lace, can dictate where you put the beads and embellishments. And I have two more to do. This one here. That looks good. And one more. Put a little glue on there. And then set the bead down in my flower, just like that. Those look good. And those are the gold beads and they look beautiful. And then the next thing we're going to do is add some of Flatback Swarovski gems in between the arches here. And we just decided to put them in between the arches directly on the wood because that's kind of what the lace was asking for. So we glue our rhinestones much the same way we did the beads. I pick it up with the tweezers and then twirl a little bit of glue onto my toothpick. Just apply a little bit to the back of that crystal and then set the crystal where I want it. Right there. Press it into place. These are beading tweezers. They have a little bead scoop on the other end. So we got those at a bead shop. We really like how long and straight the tweezers are. But you can use any tweezers for this. And put our little glue on the back. And the nice thing about using these Swarovski crystals is it, it's a real material. It's a gorgeous real crystal. It has a lot of light and shine and color. They just sparkle more than just regular glass crystals. You can buy gemstone stickers and you they'd be easy to apply because they're self-adhesive. But they're not as gorgeous as these Swarovskis. And also you wouldn't, I think you wouldn't want to use self-adhesive gemstones on a frame like this because who knows how long that adhesive is going to last. This E6000 is a, a high quality glue so you know that it's going to last. And here's our last one. Just put a little glue on the back of that one and then set it into place. Just like that. Oh, that looks gorgeous. And that could be done if we wanted it to be. We could say that we are finished, but we thought it'd be fun to add a hanger. So we'll show you how to make the hanger next. To make the hanger for the frame, we started by putting eye hooks in the top of the frame and I lined them up just by putting them over the opening for the picture and they screwed right into the wood but you could pre-drill a hole if you thought you needed it. And then we're going to make a little beaded hanger to go on that. And to do that we're going to start with a piece of our 26 gauge wire. This is our brass wire, kind of a gold color. And I'm going to pick a, cut a piece about 10 inches long. The frame is about 9 inches so I can kind of measure that. I'm cutting and using more than I need so that I have a lot of room to work with the beads and to attach it. So there's my wire and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little uh, temporary bend in the bottom of the wire and that's just going to keep the beads from sliding off and then I'm going to put the beads on the other side. And I'm going to show you a little trick for putting beads on wire. We're going to bead alternate pearls and gold beads on this wire 
And what I like to do is pour them into the palm of my hand and then kind of fish them out. And you can do that by tipping the bead onto the wire. You just put the wire into the center of the bead and then tip it on. And it makes this go pretty fast. We like the way it looked to alternate the pearls and the gold bead. And I'm going to keep alternating pearls and gold beads onto the wire until I have about seven inches of the wire beaded. I just have a few more beads to add, alternating pearls and gold beads. And just want to do it till we have about seven inches, which is what we have here. And now we're going to attach this to the frame right on that little eye hook that I screwed into the top of the frame. I'm going to take the end of our wire, which is why we gave ourselves lots of extra wire, and I'm going to feed it up through that eye hook. Put a little bend in it so it'll go up through there. And then I'm going to fold the wire back on itself, overlapping about an inch and a half here. And I'm going to take that little tail of the wire and I'm going to wrap it around the hanger itself. So I'm just wrapping it around the wire just a couple times to secure it. And I can press those little wraps together so they look nice. I can just use my fingers to press those together. And then the wire cutters you can use to just trim off that little tail like that. I just want to press those little wraps together. Look nice and tidy. Now we can slide all the beads to the other end. So they're right up against the wire wrapping there. And I can do the same thing on this side. There's my little temporary bend in the end of the wire. I can put the wire through that eye hook. And now I don't want any slack in the wire because I want lots of the beads to be filling up the hanger. So I'm not going to leave much slack, just enough to put the wraps in between the last bead and the eye hook. And I'm just going to bend that tail of the wire around. I'm going to do it the same number I did on the other side three times, like that. And that first one's kind of sticking up a little bit. I'm going to press that one down. And then I'm going to reach in like I did before with the wire cutters. Oops and trim that wire. There it is. And there's a little opening here in our eye hook, but this will be pulling this way so it won't come off once it's hanging up. And now we've added a really neat pearl and gold beaded hanger to our boho and lace bead frame. Mm -hmm.